Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Terra Firma Punk. So today we have a goal. We're gonna go and find an actual vein of copper ore so that way we can actually do some smithing for a change. You know, some genuine smithing. Not this dump stuff into into molds and get the tool out of that. It's not really how it works anyway. Not usually anyway. So we have ourselves a prospector's pick. And the prospector's pick, when you right click the ground, it tells you if you're finding things. So you were, around here we're finding nothing of interest. If I go closer back here I might find some magnetite just because there there was magnetite in the area, but I don't remember exactly where it was, so we're not gonna really get a good idea of how it works over here. <clears throat> Instead, we're going to head over to one of the various various citations I have marked. Also, I have unlocked the larger crafting bench, which allows me to make bigger things like a door, which we're going to need, so I'm making one right now. Also, if you want to make planks, you have to take lumber and craft into planks. You can also put the lumber down as a sort of decorative kind of thing, but we're not going to do that. So really, if I wanted to, I could have gotten the workbench a lot earlier if I cannibalized part of the house. Which, you know, I've been doing pretty well up here on that, but None of it's been wood. So, where are we in terms of the quest book? In the quest book, we have a quest that I have yet to claim. Yeah, I've managed to kill enough zombies. Ooh, this is actually kind of a tough choice. I mean, Native copper, that's kind of useful. Fermented spider eye, I don't even know how to craft that in this pack. Sugar cane, nah, that's not really a big choice, but the reward bag, I think, is more exciting. First the full heart. Yay, six lives. And spider eyes and string. Okay, that, that's kind of alright. So, kill as many skeletons as you can. This says zombie. Uh, pack maker? I, I think you got the quest book wrong. <laughs> ah, well. I guess I can also make cobble walls now. I should make some quick. That, that would make it so I can actually protect my base somewhat. Alright, cobble walls. I need ten. <clears throat> Might as well go all out. Oh, it's crafted it ten times. You... <laughs> you jerks. Right. Or is it not going to count this type of cobble? Granite. Diorite. Gabbro. Oh, it's... It's only going to count certain types. That does not make sense because the the chances of finding that or of being in the correct biome for that isn't really that great I have to go find basalt <laughs> All 
conglomerate. <sighs> you guys are jerks. <laughs> Who made this pack? I need to go yell at them or something. Not, not that it'd do anything, it'd just make me feel better. <clears throat> I think I can make glass here. Yeah, I can. It's going to take a bit of time, though, and... Oh, no, there's a horde of zombies that just spawned in. They were, there was one beelining straight for where I'm at. Well, it doesn't matter because can't keep the fire fire lit anyway. So I'm going to just go back in here and hide, and in the morning we will go and try finding some copper. This is a site I'm getting really tired of. It's a horde of zombies. Every single morning. Just, just trying to make it so I can't leave. I want to leave. I want to go do things. Uh, I can drop some stuff off here quick. So I'm gonna need those. I'm gonna need those. Alright. I need a pot. Oh, and I checked, you cannot eat the whale meat. That's a damn shame. Oh, good. The rain went away. <clears throat> Alright, let's head off, find some copper, set up a small shack to take refuge in, and see if we can't actually find the copper ore vein. So, finding ores in this pack, usually kind of a little bit difficult. In a way, it's more realistic. In another way, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. Hello, bunny. My nose is feeling kind of stuffy for some reason. That's very weird. So this copper ore vein I'm heading to. Well, potential copper ore vein. I don't know if there is a copper ore vein because I don't know how the ore spawning mechanics works in terra firma craft. But if it works similarly, we should have no problem finding a nice little vein. It'll give us plenty of copper to last a really long time. But it's by these, this very extreme hill type terrain, which could be a bit of a problem. Ooh, bituminous coal. That is nothing like what I'm trying to find. But it'd still be nice if I found it. I'd prefer, though, if I was finding copper. So, when you right-click the ground, it says if there's anything of interest or not. If there is, then you just have to kind of try to find where a, a bigger sample size is. And this might be a very small, small amount of bituminous coal if, if it's around. But that's not what we're looking for. We're trying to find copper, and I'm unfortunately not finding any trace of copper. So, yeah. 
might have to try one of the other locations. I don't know what to th think of this. Ow. <laughs> don't do that. There's a pit underneath this random house full of swamp gaslings. <laughs> what the hell? I think that there's a spawner down there that's causing everything to spawn and it's kind of causing a little bit of lag. I'm going to be holed up here for the night. But yeah, there, there was a lever right here. And there was an iron door right here. And that made me feel a little bit suspicious because why would the lever for the door be far away from the door. So I went into the wall, there was a redstone path, I followed the redstone path, which it's kind of amazing that I can actually get the redstone, but anyway, I followed the redstone path and pit, activated by these sticky pistons, full of gas. Make sure you don't go pulling random levers in the middle of houses in the middle of the wilderness when you are playing this pack because you will die. I think I found a submarine. I did find a submarine. Huh. Oh, I'm down here. <laughs> Didn't intend to come down here. Okay, that, this, this is not good. <laughs> no. Well. Okay, this this is a mistake. That's a pig zombie. This is not a pig zombie. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 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 <laughs> what is that? Well, that's gonna take a bit to get back to. So I I remembered that ores spawn in various biomes. They don't just spawn where you find their stuff. You have to go find the biome that they spawn in and then find a potential ore vein that way. So yeah, this this might take a little bit more effort than I was anticipating. Because the only areas I'm able to find copper is neither the areas in this area. I can't find it in chert, I can't find it in chalk. I have to go to a new biome and hopefully it's got the right type of ores. I have to go get my stuff back. And let's start off with an admission that we are not in the same world. After many hours of trying to find a new biome that was not a chert or chalk biome, I failed. It ended up being that the only biomes I was able to find that actually was different than the chalk biome was another chert biome. And it was so far away that basically it would mean I'd have to move my entire base and that's a bit of a pain in the ass to do in Terraforma Craft. 
Oh, there's not very many sticks or rocks around here, is there? Yeah, that's a bit of a pain to do in Terraforma Craft because all you can store things in other items in your inventory to make the travel better. The distance I would have to go would mean I would burn through pretty much all my food supply just to move base and then I'd kind of be stuck until some crops grew or something. So I figured I might as well just start a new world, see if we're any luck here, and this is not looking very lucky because I don't have any rocks. I got plenty of sticks, but sticks aren't going to make an axe for me to chop down a tree. No, 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 no. You stay away. Well, I might be looking at another world again, because, holy crap, not a single rock. I found some tomatoes, which is nice. I spawned near a large exposed ore vein, which is great, but if I can't find any rocks, I'm probably not going to survive even a single night. That's... I jumped. I did not mean to jump. That was stupid. Well, if I manage to find any rocks, we'll keep this world. But if I can't find rocks, as I am kind of expecting I won't be able to, then we'll be going to another world again. So see you in a bit. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think someone was messing with the cloning experiment. <laughs> Why does it have my skin? Ah! No! Bad Mountain Troll! Uh, I, I think I'm going to be doing a different world because we, we are not having luck. The day is already half gone. There's no shelter that I can really use. We're kind of screwed. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... After multiple worlds where there was absolutely no rocks, I checked the forums and it looks like there's a problem with rocks spawning on the surface in New Worlds. So, basically, trying to generate a new world is never going to work for me because I will never have rocks in order to be able to actually do anything in the pack. So, until there's an update that fixes this issue, I'm going to have to either just not record or go back a version. I'm not sure which I'm going to do yet. Anyway, the rest of this video will probably be just me rambling about something. But yeah. It's lucky that I had to delete that first world because there was no way I was going to be able to do anything with it. Since there was no copper anywhere to be found other than random surface chunks. Which is nowhere near enough to make an anvil. Or to make bronze. Or to really make anything useful. Huh. So, at least we have different stuff around here. So if if I get a world similar to this, I should be fine when, when I do whatever I decide to do. But until then, actually, let me let me just check something.
Well, I can spawn these in. So yeah, it is just a generation issue, and it's not really anything I can do. You know, I know there's a way to crawl with smart moving, but I don't remember how to do so. Hey there, you. you I see you got a little knife. You gonna shank me? Yep, you're gonna shank me. Stop doing that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in another video. Take care. Goodbye. All the fun stuff.